Hi, my name is Kathleen Plate, and I'm an artist here in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, I'm in my studio in Atlanta right now, and I am a glass artist. I uh, take uh, recycled bottles and transform them into a new raw material, and from that, I create everything from jewelry, which you can see some of the my little workbench here, all the way up to uh, chandeliers, sculptures, and lighting. I've been working with the bottles for, I can't believe this, 27 years now. So hey, you wanna see my studio? Let me show you around a little bit and uh, you can see what I do here. You might think I have a drinking problem, but I don't. These are all bottles that I pulled out of dumpsters. So possibly I have a dumpster diving problem, but it's part of my job and I find some good bottles that I know that I can use, stack them up here. The nine colors that I get to work with as an artist that this is my medium. So clear, of course. Cobalt, which is Guy Vodka or some other various things. Um, Chardonnay is pretty, it's a great gold. That's that three. Aqua is from some bottles like this. Bombay Sapphire, Saki. Um, this is one of my favorites. It's a teal, dark teal German Riesling. Um, what else we got? Red wine, of course, is this pine color. Gorgeous, love this one. I mean, I love them all, so. <laughs> of course, amber comes from beer bottle. Probably the most common one and actually very beautiful as jewelry transformed. Um, lime green. Oh, yep, yeah, here's the lime green. So you got, again, beer or in larger formats. Part of what I do is try to think of all the different ways that I can put those colors together. How can I make the same thing continually look new, different? What can I discover? So the first step in my process, aside from drinking the bottle, is to cut it. So these are my saws. Kind of the messiest, grossest part of my job, but I'll show you how I do it. <laughs> Once the bottle's cut, it goes into my kilns, which are over here. It looked like spaceships, but these were custom built for me and for my process. So a bottle, it's usually clean, it looks a little better. Pieces like this, rounded, go into the kiln. It takes about 24 hour process in the kiln, and when they're done, they come out like this. They come out flat. So these are some flat bottles. We also do the pieces for the jewelry and things in here. So that's a uh, part of the magic. How has quarantine life affected me? Well, <laughs> it's it's been interesting, but I consider myself very lucky that I have this beautiful studio that I can come to and play. And probably for me, this quiet time has given me time to be just more creative and just kind of back to how it was so many years ago when I just started. Now I have assistants and I'm bigger, but they're not here. And so it's just me and my studio and it's kind of special just having that time with myself and my artwork.